So I'm going to go over some main features of the Trade Ideas Pro. Um, this is going to be a basic training, so it should probably last around 30 minutes or so. And if you have any questions, just stop me anytime and ask, okay? Sounds good. All right. So this little main window right here is going to show your connectivity settings. Um, this little ball, you'll see some green bars in just a few minutes when you actually pull up a window. But right now, the green ball just shows you that it's working. And <clears throat> see, here's a little line right here. And then file is where you're going to go to log in. Uh, you're going to have, um, if you have any uh, connection issues, you want to reset your connection. You'll just choose that. Um, you're going to also be able to pull up new alert windows and load alert windows from here. Save your layout, restore layout. We're not going to exit right now. So what I am going to do is I'm going to open a new alert window. Let's just start from here. So one of the main features is, you know, you'll be able to right click over an alert window and you'll see a little pop up menu with a bunch of options. And I'm going to go over the configuration option first, because this is one of the main features of using TI Pro. I'm going to click on configure and then you'll see this little configuration window pop up and you can see several tabs are in here and I'm going to go over each and every one of these with you, okay? For this particular alert window, these alerts over here on the right are the ones that are set for this alert window. So this is one strategy. And we have a lot of pre-configured strategies over here. If you wanted to use any of these pre-configured strategies, you would just go to that strategy, like upside momentum, or yearly highs, or under 20 moving up fast, and you would just hit load settings. And once you hit load settings, hit OK, and it will load all those settings into this window. OK, that's quick and easy. So you'll start seeing some things populate in just a minute through this window. How many alerts can you back. have open? You can have as many alert windows open as you want, actually, because these windows can resize. You can make them really small, and you can have the columns fit the window, you know, to whatever size it is. So basically, you could have a hundred of these open if you wanted. Okay. I'm going to go back into the configuration window to the strategies tab again, and as you can see earlier, I chose this right here and hit load settings and now it's going to show up on the right hand side of the strategies tab. If I were to, you know, click on this little plus sign here for recent settings, it's going to remember the last 25 most recent settings that I've tried. Okay. So you could see before I was using the flipped high low ticker and yesterday I used the mammoth options volume and it's going to, like I said, remember the last 25 and it's just for your own convenience. All right, and then this obviously is on your current settings, which is this right here. Okay. Okay, um, the next tab over is the search field. And the search tab, you know, allows you to perform a keyword search of all alert and filter possibilities. and basically just narrows out the searches for you. So if you did want to find something that says, you know, was RSI, it would pull up, you know, the RSI filters which is in a different tab. Or if you wanted to look up just new highs, it's going to just bring up the alerts that have new high in there. Because otherwise, without the search option, you would have to kind of fumble through all of this, and it goes down for quite a while. Yeah, there's quite a, a lot of um, alerts and stuff there. I do have one question, though, really quick. What is the heartbeat exactly? Okay, yeah, I'm glad you asked that. Um, the heartbeat is... It's really just like a default setting. So if nothing else is selected, if well, if no other alert is selected, it's going to automatically choose the heartbeat alert. It just basically lets you know that it's you know on and it's working. So if there were no alerts selected right here, it would just show the heartbeat. Okay, I see. So okay, back to the configuration window. All right, so the search field, like I said, just helps you narrow down your searches. Select alerts. This is where you're gonna, you know, obviously select your alerts. You can see here for this strategy, you know, the new high filtered is already selected. And if you scroll down, you'll just start noticing the ones that are working are all selected and 
you can put the value, um, your, the value that you're looking for into this little criteria, this little criteria box right here. Okay. And same with the window specific filters. You can see for this strategy, the max dollars was 20 that they used. And the min current volume was one. So you would just enter in your criteria there. If you wanted to know exactly what these alerts or filters meant, one cool feature is you could just left click on it and it takes you to our website where it will go over the definition of that alert or filter. Again, you can do that for the, the filters as well. You just left click on it and it will take you to the definition of it. And if you ever see like right here, the video little flash image, that means there's a video about that alert or filter. So you could just click on that and it would take you to the video. Okay, uh, do you have any questions so far? Yeah, just one quick on the uh, um, alerts, you know, like, does it matter how many alerts I can select? 